Hello, my name is Joshua Rudd with Rudd's Home Farm, and today we're going to be talking about the best type of containers for your hydroponics systems. Stay tuned, the best one's at the end. Our first type of containers that are used for hydroponic systems is our glass or clear containers. So on the left of you here uh, is our bamboo plant. It's about eight months old, and it's been through multiple transplants. Yes, you can transplant hydroponic plants very easily uh, even if it's in a, a rock solution what happened is one of our cats knocked it over in a different container broke the container and uh we were able to transplant it into a new pot and it recovered just fine you can see it's just it's really growing big and healthy and strong and the one on the right is green onion uh, we just bought regular green onion from the store and uh just we this is in our kitchen windowsill so we just every every day my wife just cuts from it and we have green onions fresh in our eggs every morning. So the positives of using a clear container is you can clearly see the level of the water that you have in there, so it's easy to replenish. Um, some downsides are is that you have algae growth. Uh, the one on the right does have brown algae. As you can see right here, that's uh, that's brown algae. You just whenever you see brown algae, you can just dump out the water and then pour in new water, and maybe once a week kind of just keep replenishing it. This one needs to be replenished. So just keep replenishing it and you, it's not really a big problem. The algae doesn't really affect the plant. Um, so just just be aware of that. Uh, I prefer smaller containers for, you know, glass or clear. So when you do dump out, you don't have to replace so much water and it's easier to dump out. Um, doesn't seem like I have any problems on the left with algae growth. Oh yeah, you can see, you can see the green algae there. That's all algae, but um, <clears throat> As long as it's like just a few containers, like the one on the left goes on is on a bookshelf. And so it's just, it's just for decoration. So you kind of want the clear look to have decoration. If you really wanted to, you can just have like a colored one like this. It was in this, but it outgrew it. So since it outgrew it, um, we can't use it anymore, but we didn't have any allergy problems in the hair. So that's your number. That's the first type of containers you can use for hydroponics. You see how easy hydroponics can be really easy. Our second type of container that is used for hydroponics is plastic wrap containers that have lids. Here you can see I have, uh, I drink a lot of Metamucil and so I have a lot of plastic containers that have uh, a little plastic wrap around them. Uh, I have very little issues with LG and these containers and the cool thing is is they have lids and so you could, um, you can carve a hole in the top of lids and then you could insert your net pots, right? And so this is kale here. So you can just drip this into the solution and you know, it's, it's on there. And if whenever you need to replace the water or change the water, you just unscrew the lid carefully and then set the plant aside, pour in the water, dump out the water and do what you ever need to do. Um, you can see the levels with the with a flashlight. If you turn the lights off and then you use a flashlight, Got my flashlight right here. Turn it on. You can kind of see, I'm not sure how well it shows up on camera. There we go. I'll be right back. So you do have to turn the lights off to get better see, visual on camera, but I could see it with the lights on. You can see, you can tell the level here. Uh, you can see the level really easy. You just need a flashlight and that'll tell you the level. Um, with hydroponic containers like this, you don't need air bubbles. You don't need uh, anything else, just water. What happens is, is the roots will grow down into the bottom of the reservoir as the level goes down. And so you could have it go all the way almost empty before you would even need to fill it up. But I like to keep mine about halfway full at least. So uh, this one, this one over here, this is my basil right here. Let's see, making sure you can see it. Okay, so basil, that one's about half full. So that one, oops. Just make sure that it doesn't go completely empty. If it goes completely empty, your plants will die very quickly. Within maybe three or four hours, your plants will already start to wilt. In about six hours, they'll probably have irreparable damage to your plants and you have to replace them. So make sure you keep those waters up and keep checking those levels on those, clear con on those containers and you'll have great hydroponic plants. Your final and best type of tray is your 10 by 20 grow tray. Links are in the description. These types of trays are portable, stackable, 
and takes a minimum amount of space and can be used on shelving units. I have a setup over here that uses 10 by 20 shelves, 10 by 20 trays, and is multi-purpose. As you can see, so you could grow hydroponics here and you also can grow microgreens. You can just use it to, when you're doing your planting and stuff just to catch dirt and stuff like that. They're very multi-purpose, very multi-use and multiple plants can be grown in one tray. And so you're wasting very little amount of solution. And you can see that they're all just growing in one solution and you just have to worry about refilling this and you water 18 plants in one solution, whereas all the other containers are individuals. So especially with leafy vegetables that don't grow very big, this is the choice for hydroponic gardening. If you like this video or found it informative, please leave a comment below on the type of containers that you think you may use in your hydroponic systems. And also like and subscribe because I have a lot more content coming your way. Stay tuned.